In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share full screen slides in PowerPoint in a Zoom meeting while you see presenter view if you only have one screen. What you want is you want the best quality slides being shared with your attendees. And so we're going to do this on a Mac. So I'm going to move over to my MacBook Air laptop to show you how this looks and works on a Mac. So you see I've got my Zoom meeting already running here and I've got my PowerPoint presentation open and I can just go to whatever slide I want. So here are the steps we're going to take to be able to share full screen slides in the Zoom meeting, but you as the presenter get to see your notes and full functionality of presenter view. I'm going to start by putting the PowerPoint into slideshow mode. So there's a number of ways to do that either from the slideshow ribbon um, your play buttons here, your shortcut keys, or what I typically do is just press the, click on the, the little button down here at the bottom bar that says slideshow, and it goes into slideshow mode on this particular slide. Now what I need to do is I need to switch from slideshow mode to presenter view mode. And the way I do that, I'm going to move my cursor down to the lower left-hand corner and click on the three dots. That allows me to now click on this item here that says use presenter view. When I do that, it switches the display to presenter view. Now it didn't lose the slideshow view. The slideshow view is in a separate window. That's how presenter view works. It has a slideshow window and the presenter view window. Now what I'm going to do is I want to go back to Zoom and share that window, the slideshow window, in the meeting. To do that, I need to go to Mission Control. So on a Mac, if you press Control up arrow, you go to Mission Control. Mission Control shows you all the open windows, and you'll notice I have my slideshow window, I have my presenter view window, and my edit window, and of course I have my Zoom window. So I'll go back to my Zoom meeting window, and in my Zoom window, I'm going to open the sharing dialog. So I'll click on the sharing, and it will ask me, what do you want to share? So I'm going to just move this over here. I can share my screen, but I don't actually want to do that. What I want to do is I want to share the slideshow window. And again, you'll notice there are some different windows here. There's the presenter view window, there's the slideshow window, uh, and the edit window. So I want to always make sure that I select the slideshow window. So notice when I, my cursor is over that window, it expands and it says PowerPoint slideshow. That's what I want to share. So I'll click on that and I'll say share. Now what happens is Zoom has now shared this window in the meeting. And you can see that from the attendee screen. They are only seeing the slides in slideshow mode. They're not seeing presenter view or any of my notes. Now, I can just go through my slides here using the arrows, or I can use my keyboard or my remote, whatever I'm using. You notice all the functionality of presenter view. I have my animations. I have my morph transition. I have my thumbnails in the film strip down below so I can jump to any slide if I wanted to. All the functionality is here. I'm seeing my notes. I'm seeing all the functionality of presenter view. My audience, the attendees, are only seeing my slides in full screen mode, so it's high resolution mode for them. When I've done my presentation, I simply stop sharing in Zoom, the normal way that we do that. We stop sharing, and then I can go back to my presentation in PowerPoint and say, end the show. So this is a great option for you to consider using. If you have just one screen and you want to present PowerPoint slides where you get to see your notes in presenter view, the audience only sees your full screen slides. Use this option of being able to share that full screen window from your Mac in Zoom so your attendees see your full screen slides in high res, you get to see all your notes. Consider that for your next presentation. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.